Hey again, everybody, Rob Coble, career success coach with Yellowtail Tech, and I'm here today with Jerome, uh, who has some exciting news, man. Jerome, go ahead and tell us what's going on with you, man. <laughs> um, so since I became a uh, Red Hat certified um, through Yellowtail Tech, um, while I was in my intern, um, I was reached out, a company reached out to me and was interested in me becoming a systems admin and um, I went through the interview process and I did land the job. So I'm officially All right, a man. administrator. And what's what's in, the name of your company? Uh, the company's name Unicorn. Okay, awesome, dude. So, well, congratulations. I mean, besides um, making it look easy, man, it's like uh, <laughs> you probably had to uh, go through some hurdles and everything. Tell me a little bit about the interview process that you went on. Um, absolutely. Um, basically, they were looking for a candidate that can adapt um, to a fast-paced moving um, environment. Um, also, a family-oriented environment, so they want to make sure that you do get along and collaborate well with people. Um, meeting with the principal engineer and the sysops engineer, um, they gave me an overview of what they were looking for in the candidate and the person. And speaking with the CTO, the CTO uh, gave me some technical questions and more or less he wanted to understand how I'll go about troubleshooting and analyzing issues. So um, it is an entry level position, but um, they wanted, they did, they did want some technical ability, um, but they also want somebody who can adapt and who can also learn within their environment. Their environment's an AWS uh, slash Linux environment. Nice, man. And that's perfect. You know, I, I, we talk about this all the time. And it's like the most satisfying jobs are the ones that give you the opportunity to contribute and learn in equal parts. And, um, it, you know, most people find that to be kind of the secret sauce to keeping them happy and everything. So, um, so yeah, you this all happened to you while you were in the internship and everything. When it got down to the technical aspects uh, and your interview with the CTO, do you feel like you were pretty well prepared to deal with the questions that he had? Yeah, absolutely. Because um, uh, he didn't really get like too technical, even though he did, but he didn't get too, too technical. And the reason being is, again, it was an entry-level position. They just want to see how well he can learn. And more or less the honesty, like behind um, what do you actually know and what you don't know. And um, I was honest on a few things that I didn't know, which he really didn't even wanted me to actually really know, <laughs> like because they don't use that technology. He just wanted to see where my head was at. Yeah. And, um, what, what, like you know, how will I approach the situation and things like that. So, um, again, it was technical um, because they do look for that, and they they recognize that I am Red Hat certified, so they probably got and understood that I knew that's like you know have that understanding of that side. Um, it was more or less if I can collaborate and if I can learn in your environment and learn new things from. Um, yeah. So I would say to anybody that's trying to get an IT, you got to be adaptable. Adaptability is um, key. Being fluid and liquid is key. Yeah, I, I think that's one of the top five things, man. Being adaptable, um, not only uh, in using different technologies and things like that, but. Uh, dealing with the day-to-day -day, man and in this world of it and especially uh doing the system admin gig you never know what you're going to be hit with on a day-to-day -day basis so um Absolutely. so in in addition to adaptability are there any other things that um you would recommend to others that are considering a career in it um well i'm going to be biased and tell you go for linux because <laughs> uh you know when when you have um, uh, operating system or um, software like Linux that run on Linux and Linux is basically the foundation of so much things that we use today and what only 17% 12% of the world's population actually understands and knows Linux um, right there and then is telling you that is a demand that's needed and um, you can fill those shoes quickly because with Linux you can move into cloud you can move into DevOps you can move into security you can even move into networking if you want um you know applications databases and things like that so uh i would say if you're gonna choose anything choose something that's liquid like we was going back to something that can take you into different avenues um, that and learn how to collaborate and work in a team with people 
Um, nice. Learn how to work by yourself is great. Um, you definitely need that because if you're going to be working remote, you have to be disciplined. Um, but you got to also know how to collaborate and work with a team. Um, if you got answers and questions, um, be able be willing to share it. Yeah, absolutely, man. That's great advice. Um, are you able to give us any hints on uh, what, it, you know, how were you successful moving through the pro the program here at Yellowtail? What did you do in order to create your success? Um, I, well, one thing going through the certification, well, uh, the first part of the program, I should say the Linux with jobs, um, just, you know, just trying to show up every single class, learn as much as you can, um, ask as many questions as you can going through the certification process, um, you know, along with the Linux with jobs, you know, do try and apply what you know, what you've been learning, like, you know, cause I, I'm a person that I learn mainly by doing. Mm. So this was ideal for me because I can build new machines every day on my virtual on my virtual box and you know go for it, and that's how I learned by just doing. And I understand with Red Hat and Linux, it's about doing. So um, if you put in the time to apply it, I think it would sink in much faster. If you know, just just like muscle memory, it's, it's commands right now. I'm thinking of if I can recall right off the top of my head because I can just you know that um do it enough oh, yeah yeah you know what i mean like i can tell you right now how to set up a static connection like just from off the top of my head just thinking about it but um i say that too as well like you know collaborate and you know ask questions and and um team up you know with your with your teammates don't be shy because remember now we're all starting at the same point and we want to finish all at the same time so you know we got to get there somehow so I would say like, just don't be afraid like to ask questions, like, you know, be inquisitive, especially if you're paying for your education, <laughs> be inquisitive as much as you can, like, you know, and um, that's, take, that's, yeah, take advantage of it, the study yeah. sessions, you know, if you, if, you know, just sacrifice going out <laughs> one Saturday or two, you know what I mean? Like be born and stay on, take some of the weekend study sessions and during the week, like, you know, just push yourself. That's all I can say. Yeah. That's great advice, man. Uh, teamwork uh, is what it's all about. Teamwork, communication. Um, and I love that you talked about asking questions. I mean, I always look at uh, people that ask questions, not as a sign of ignorance, but as an actual sign of intelligence because they're challenging themselves to want to continue to learn and, and, and learn more about what it is that they do. So I got one final question for you, man. Um, sure. uh, how has your, uh, without, you know, going into grand details, uh, how has your financial status improved or how will it improve with this new position? <laughs> um, it would improve, uh, I would say it improve, it improve a great deal. <laughs> um, I can I can tell you that. <laughs> yeah, it definitely approve a great deal. Um, you know, it, it's significant. <laughs> it's it's trust me, it's worth it. It's it's worth <laughs> doing the program. <laughs> Thanks, brother. Yes, indeed.